Let's create a script that can do more than just keep track of the amount of calories you have eaten in a day. I want to make it possible to say that I have eaten for example cereal for breakfast and then use AI to figure out the number of calories. The AI has to be smart enough to ask you questions like what type of milk did you use, the amount, which cereal, etc. You should also be able to say that you drank a bottle of Coca-Cola and the AI will then automatically know how many calories this is in a can or a bottle. So we're going to use the new UI features from GPT Script, store data in the database and also learn about subtools. If you haven't set up GPT Script already, the next section will take you through it. So to install it, you can just go to github.com slash gpt script dash ai slash gpt script. Then it will find a guide here on how to install it on macOS and Linux and Windows down here. Next you need to set up an OpenAI API key. This is free to set up but using it will cost money if you don't get any tokens when you create the account I'm not sure. So when all of this setup is done you are ready to start. OpenAI has a pricing page on openai.com slash pricing um, and we are going to use a language model called GPT-4-0 so the price can vary a little bit on what you put in, uh, what you get back from the AI etc but it shouldn't cost many cents per request. Take a, just take a good look at the pricing list to familiarize yourself with them. So to start the new GPT script with the UI, you can just say GPT script dash dash UI. And then this will set up a node application locally on my computer. As you can see here, it's fetching a little bit from the internet, downloading node. So it's setting up all of this in an environment that's on your computer and makes it easy to interact with the GPT script. And then this automatically open up. If I go back here you can see that it installed, created a few things and was starting a server. And this server automatically opened in my browser. So on this dashboard you will see a list of your scripts if you have any. If not we need to create one now. So you can just click here, create a new script to get started. So this is optional but I like to have a file name here so health coach dot gpt and then a chat bot name which can just be health coach or whatever you want and then we're going to give it some instructions that we are that it should do when it starts so so you are a health coach and fitness coach i guess that's people who know a lot about fitness and uh, nutrition and stuff I want you to help me keep track of what I eat, how many calories I consume, and similar. You can begin by sorry, you can begin by asking the age, weight, and similar of the user user and calculate the amount this person should eat in a day. So that we know what we can compare this to. When the user asks you to track something, be 100% sure that you know the amount to track. For example, if the user asks you to track a bowl of cereal cereal sorry not bound but bowl of cereal ask which milk and which type of cereal like that feel free to play around with instructions as you want but to get the results i'm getting you should stay as close to this as possible but ai isn't very deterministic so the results can still vary from mine if your instructions is exactly as mine. So let's click create my new chatbot. So here on the left side you will see the details of the script you have just created, what tools it has access to, description, name, etc. And over here on the right side you can see that the chat started. Great, I'd be happy to keep track of your diet and fitness. To get started you need some information. So let's fill in all of this. One, 
36, 2, mail, 3, 178, cm, 4, uh, 66, kilos, 5, my activity level is moderately active, and 6, I want to, um, okay, I'm actually a vegetarian, so that's probably just best to stick here. Once I have this information, I can calculate your daily caloric needs. So let me just hit enter and see what it says. So here it looks like it calculated that I'm going to need to consume this every day. Now that I have your caloric needs, you can start to track your intake. Okay, let's try something simple. I ate a banana today. So then it just takes the average medium banana. Um, would you say it was medium sized or large? Um, it was medium sized. So there you can see information about fiber, fat, protein, carbohydrates, calories. You can see also how much I have remaining today that I can eat before I will start gaining weight. Um, I also ate a bowl of cereal for breakfast you can see here now it starts to it needs to know what type of milk amount etc so one um, oatmeal that's typically what I eat and I usually eat 60 grams three um, I like to use water usually <laughs> um, but we can for example there's a whole milk for um, two cups. Now this will calculate a typical whole milk, a typical oatmeal, etc. And I can see that I only have 1839 calories left for today. So next up now will be to store the information that we put in here into a database. Because if I now refresh the screen, all of this will just be gone and it will not remember anymore. So we need to configure this or change this a little bit to talk to a database um, to keep this as clean as possible we don't want these instructions to be too long because then the AI might start to figure things out on himself so let's create a new custom sub tool add custom tool and if I scroll down you can see here I got new tool one which is not a good name for a tool we can call this database dash manager then this will be automatically added up here as a basic tool for this script. Then down here we can add a description, um, a tool for reading and writing to a SQLite 3 database. Then we need to give this some instructions and this should also have access to a few tools. We can begin by sys.read which makes it possible to read from a file in our system. Sys.write, which is the opposite for writing into, for example, the SQLite database file. And sys.exec, which makes it possible for the script to execute commands on your behalf in your system. Remember to click the plus here to save it. Next, we just need to give this some instructions on how to operate. When this script is started, I want you to create a new SQLite 3 database if there isn't already one. You are going to keep track of information about the user. We can say age, height, weight, um, gender, and uh, what did it call it was fitness level or mm, let's just find out what he called it activity level activity level and um, dietary goals um, plus you need to keep track of the um, food 
and similar the user has consumed. So this is now just how I would write this. You can play around with this too and see if you get the same results. Maybe your results can even get better than mine and similar. And then we just want to tell the script up here to use this database manager to store information. So at the bottom here we can say you can use database manager to store infer, oops, information about the user and also everything the user has consumed. So if I start to do anything here now, it will not know that this has happened or this changes. So let's click restart the chat and then it should now use the database. So we can type in this again now. 36, 2, 66 kilos, 3, 178, whoops, 178 centimeters, 4, male and 5, um, moderately active and hit enter so now it calculated exact same as previous time because it's probably just follow some sort of uh, formula so we can start uh, would you like to store this information for you yes please it's important to be polite to ai of course and then i like to just click allow all because it will run a few commands like create the database um, connect to the database, write to the database, etc. Would you what would you like to log first? Um, please log that I ate a medium-sized banana. And if I just specify medium-sized, it, it will not ask me again the size and similar. Okay, so now it's tracked it. And I can say, um, how many calories do I have left today? Great, it now know that I ate this. Perfect. So if you want, you can now start playing around with the instructions for the database tool or the main script. Maybe you need to do some changes in order to store information about your exercises or if there is something else that you want to do, for, you want it to do. You can instruct the coach to be more proactive and tell you when you have eaten enough. Ask it how many calories you have left this day, how much sugar you have eaten and etc. The possibilities are endless.